Hey y'all, um, it's still Sunday, but when you see in this video, it's going to be Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I've been up since two this afternoon and I haven't eaten anything. So yeah. Um, I just made some stickers. Because as y'all seen, I made five tumblers, so I had to make some stickers to go with the packaging because they're going to my godmother. And I made some cute, don't open, hold on, don't open till Christmas stickers. I made these and I just cut them out. I made them on Canva and I cut them out on my Cricut. So, well not these, I had to redo the sheet. And these are like vinyl stickers. So, yeah. I made those. And now my camera battery is flashing. So that means I need to charge it. Let me turn off my sublimation printer. I'm going to need that tomorrow. Because I have to make the Christmas shirts for my kids. And I'm doing that on camera so you guys can see it. Because... Isn't the shirt pretty? Like, this is a tie-dye sublimation shirt. So, it's front and back. It's tie-dye. Um, I thought about selling these for Christmas, but I don't know. Like, no, I'm not really feeling it too much. But, um, yeah, I put our names on it. This mine's Mine's a Skylar Star. My son says his name. My daughter says their names. And because they're both business owners in the Santa Bowl, it has their um, business name. So my Santa says the self-made brand. My son says uh, Drip Kicks, his logo. And my daughter's says Lauren Sweet Treats, her logo. So, yeah, that's what we're wearing for Christmas. Um... Or if we was to go to like a Christmas family dinner, we all gonna wear our shirts. And um, yeah, I might go if if my family does like a Christmas dinner, then I might go to that. I didn't go to Thanksgiving because I wasn't really sure how I was gonna be feeling and everything. So Christmas dinner, I will be up to being around family and stuff like that. Maybe I'll see how I feel. I ain't making no fucking promises, but um, as of right now, in my little old mind, I might go. So, um, yeah, I do have to edit today's video for tomorrow and pray I don't put this clip with that. Well, no, I'm not going to, so I should be good. But anyway, I'll see you guys when I am tie-dyeing shirts. Well, I, sub, sub, I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. But, um, yeah, I will see you guys um, tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So, uh, today is Monday. Um, and the video for today is going up now. Uh, the HD is processing. Um, I have to print out these stickers for my godmother. So... I need to do, I need to open Canva, no, not Canva, I could close that, I need to open Cricut, because it's a printing cut, so let's open Cricut, um, I made some stickers from off of Canva, because I can't find the Christmas tape, that I had last year, the lady in Michael said that they didn't get the Christmas tape that I used to tape up my boxes. So I just decided to make stickers instead because I can't find them on Amazon. Okay, I figured out the whole battery situation. I wasn't using the right wire, the right charger, the the USB because now it's working perfectly fine. So, yeah. Um, I could make a, I don't, I don't feel like making a lip gloss. I don't feel like being messy. 
right now because I want to try something new that I got. Um, so yeah, I'm mad Canva not working. I was so set to make these pitches today, to make the shirts today. All I need is for them to download. That's all I need. That's it. Just download. Let's see if they fix the problem. Because it says downloading. So let's see. Nope. I reported when I did it on my phone, it asked me to report a problem. So, a report error or something like that. So, I did that. But any designs that I make right now, I can't even freaking download the shits. Boy, so annoying. I'm sleepy. I'm sleepy. I'm aggravated because of this whole situation. <sighs> Just messed up my whole vlog. We in business. Canva downloaded. Period, 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 period. Period. It downloaded. And I'm excited. make my kitties they shirts ew so what's gonna happen now is i'm gonna put y'all on a good old handy dandy ring light um i'm trying to think if i should transfer over to my canon no yes yes no maybe so i don't know no i'm gonna take this off so it could all be on one end. but I could take this card out of here and put it in my cannon no I'm gonna just leave it I'm gonna leave y'all in here I'm gonna just take this off of the tripod and put it on the ring light all right let me do that um I'm gonna do a voiceover so it'll be more because I I can't work under these silence conditions. I told y'all that yesterday. I can't work under these silent conditions. So I'm doing both of the shirts tonight because I, I don't got the time or the patience. What I should do is print out these for no, I want to print out one of these first to see how it comes out. Cause I'm using like cheap paper to see like how it's going to do whatever. So, yeah, all right, uh, 8 to 11, yes. Hopefully, my printer don't give me no problems like it did yesterday. Oh, no, it's connected to the printer. That's my happy shoulder dance. All right, so let me see how that prints out if I gotta could use that paper because that paper came with like the tumblers that I don't use and I don't really want to use my hippo paper because when I did this shirt baby I used way too much paper way too much so if I can use cheap paper for this for just this part the splatter just the uh splatter paint part that's what I'm gonna do but let me transfer y'all over and stuff and I might have to put a new battery in but I don't know but it's printing 
So right here, I am taking the Cricut shirt in a small, and what I did was I cut out the Santa image on a blank piece of paper because I want that space to be completely empty. So as you can see, I'm sitting here sizing it up, making sure I got the blank paper on the right side and centering it so I could tape it in place with some heat transfer tape. Right here, I'm trying to protect the neck area because on my t-shirt, the one that I did for myself, I got sublimation ink inside of the shirt. So right here, you see me putting paper inside of the collar of the shirt to protect it, but I eventually didn't use it because it wasn't working. Now the key to getting it to look like a tie-dye thing is how you scrunch up the shirt basically everything that you would do with tie-dye you would do it the same way except for you're not putting liquid on it you're actually sublimating on it so as you can see like I said I removed the paper and I'm scrunching up the shirt to see how exactly I want it to look and everything I put the paperwork paper back but I think I don't use it I don't remember but I'm just scrunching up the shirt to see how much shirt will get covered and as you can see I'm squishing it all together and I need that as much ink to get on the shirt as possible. So I make my adjustments and I'm taking another parchment paper and covering it so I won't get no ink on my press and I am pressing at uh, 385 for 60 seconds and as you can see I'm using a Cricut handheld the reason why I'm on the floor is because I get more pressure that way so as you can see I'm sitting here looking for scissors because I cut some shapes and stuff out to cover what don't have no ink so I could sublimate on it and yeah that's basically how you do it it's everything that I'm doing and I just put the parchment paper back over it so this way I could protect my heat press your main thing when it comes to sublimation is protecting your heat press because you do not want this ink to get on your press so I'm on the floor because most sublimation you have to add pressure and because I don't have the clam shut thing, I have to get on the floor so I can put all my body weight as the pressure. Now I flip the shirt over to the back and now I'm just doing the same thing that I did to the front, to the back. I'm scrunching it up, putting the sublimation sheet paper on it to get as much of the shirt covered as possible. Put my parchment paper and then I'm going to heat it up, press it again for 385, 60 seconds. So here is the grand reveal. Now when you open up your shirt, you're gonna have this big 
empty space in the middle that's where your image is going to go um I'm fixing the shirt and everything else flatten it out please put something underneath the image so this way it won't bleed through to the other side I didn't do that right away I started pressing and then I realized that I didn't put the paper underneath and I'm taking the heat press off to fix it that's why my daughter shirt has that 3d effect because the image has shifted So here I am doing my son's t-shirt. I'm going to follow the same exact step that I just showed you. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to talk through this, but it's the same exact steps, just on a different shirt. And bro both of these shirts are from the Cricut brand that you can get from Michaels. And um, I pressed for 60 seconds at 385 degrees. And yeah.
so here goes the t-shirts you guys um this is my son t-shirt and this is how his came out he picked his own lettering and i let them pick out their own santa claus um so yeah this is how his came out and what's so special about our t-shirts is that each ball of the hat have our logo so here is his logo for his business the uh drip kicks and here is my daughter's t-shirt let me see if i can get it flat for you guys so here's her t-shirt her her t-shirt her looks like a 3d effect because i had lift up the um heat press and like it shifted and tried to i tried to line it back up but obviously it didn't work so if i get a little closer you get to see like her o looks doubled her a looks doubled the e and even his hand and his hat but she says she like it and her hat has her logo in it as well lauren sweet treats she sell cake pops and uh chocolate covered strawberries we're about to prepare for uh valentine's day so yeah these are the shirts um and y'all already seen mine's in a couple of vlogs hanging up in the background so this is mine so we be, we, we will be wearing these for christmas and like I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to Christmas dinner with the family just yet. I say I'm going right now, but once it gets closer to the date, I, uh, I don't know. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.